Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In this video you will see in which direction the price of IOTA has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators EMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By taking a look at the hourly time frame for IOTA, the price moved up with around 3.2% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 95.9 cents. The volume was actually high showing that this move was strong and the buyers are taking over. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is above the hourly ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support, so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 92.5 cents. The support should be relatively strong seeing as the ribbon is spread out. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, owing to a bearish divergence, the price could go down from now on or at least remain stable for the time being. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. You should wait to see if there will be an upward trend to the crypto because the K line has not yet crossed the D line. Looking at the hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the downside. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is above the three hourly ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support, so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 88.3 cents. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the support should be considered. On the lookout for divergences in the three hourly time frame, owing to a bearish divergence, the price could go down from now on or at least remain stable for the time being. Moving to the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. The K line is below the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the downside. Jumping to the three hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the downside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate and it is better to wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Jumping to the daily exponential moving averages, we can see that the price is situated in the daily ribbon, so it is yet to be seen if the price can break the resistance currently at around 1.06. The ribbon is spread out so the resistance should be strong. Looking at the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Jumping to the daily MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, Keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. time.